Number 10, Roller Coaster. In 2021, at the Lagoon Theme Park in Utah, a 32-year-old man died after attempting a foolish stunt on a cable car ride. In full view of horrified families, the guy stands up in the cart, climbs over the safety bar, and dangles 50 feet or about 15 meters above the ground. He was seen hanging from the car while facing in towards it as it crossed above a fountain surrounded by people, many of whom stopped walking and pointed up at the man in complete shock. It didn't take long before he lost his grip and fell to the ground. The unidentified man was at the park with his family, though he was on the ride alone. It's still unclear how he ended up over the side of the ride and whether he let go of the bar deliberately or fell after being unable to climb back in. Paramedics quickly arrived on the scene to render medical aid before ultimately deciding to airlift the man to the University of Utah Hospital, where he was listed in critical condition. But unfortunately, he died from his injuries. The Skyride was first installed at the park in 1974 and has operated without incident ever since. It only takes one person to think they're either Tom Cruise or Evil Knievel to ruin a family's fun. Number 9. Pleasure? You know how some people say if they die young, at least they'll die happy or die doing what they love? Well, in this next story, it's like that. Sort of. In 2015, a healthy 31-year-old British woman suffered a heart attack and died while using a sex toy. Yup, you heard that right. Friends of Nicola Payton found her dead in her bed at her home in Churchester, England. She was discovered with a vibrator by her side and a pornographic video playing on her laptop. Everyone that knew her said that she seemed fit and well, even up to the day before her death. Pathologist Dr. Richard Jones found no abnormalities in her organs. Quote, there is nothing in the heart which I can find to explain why Nicola died suddenly, but I suspect it does represent a sudden cardiac arrest. In Nicola's case, there is another potential trigger, and that is an increase in heart rate or blood pressure because of physical or emotional arousal. In other words, she got so turned on she had a heart attack and died, leaving all the evidence and clues of what happened right next to her. Number 8. Atomic Wedgie Days before Christmas in 2013, 33-year-old Bradley Davis from Oklahoma was charged with murder when he gave his stepdad an atomic wedgie. He killed his stepfather, 58-year-old Denver St. Clair, during a drunken fight at their home in Potawatomi. The family was having cocktails at the stepdad's residence when he started talking nonsense about his wife, Davis's mother. This made Davis really angry. So angry that he knocked his stepdad to the ground, grabbed his underwear, and pulled the elastic waistband up as high as he could and put it around his neck. The medical examiner reported that the cause of death was due to asphyxiation and blunt force trauma from the elastic band that was stretched way too tightly over his neck. The elastic waistband had also left a deep ligature mark, and there was evidence of blood splattered around the kitchen and the living room. Nobody knows if Davis actually meant to kill his stepdad, but he did, and he was held in Potawatomi County without bond. His lawyer wasn't available for comment. Imagine him being in jail and an inmate asking him what he's in for. Number 7. Crossing the Border In April of 2022, a native of Mexico decided she was going to cross the border the hard way. The woman got the brilliant idea to scale a border wall. Her name hasn't been released for privacy reasons, but we do know that she was 32 years old and desperate to get into the United States. One night, under the cover of darkness, she approached the Mexican side of the wall opposite of Douglas, Arizona. Using a climbing harness, she scaled the side of it, but couldn't make it all the way down. Somehow, she got her leg stuck. She was then hung upside down from her harness on the American side of the wall in Arizona. The Cochise County Sheriff's Office doesn't know how long she was hanging there, but it was long enough that all the blood rushed to her head and killed her. Hey, she made it over the wall, she just never touched down. Believe it or not, this was not actually the first time something like this had happened. Earlier in April, almost the exact same thing occurred in Texas. A migrant trying to scale the wall fell off of the barrier and landed on U.S. soil, but unfortunately didn't survive. He died at the hospital while his friend, a migrant who had also fallen off the barrier near Clint, Texas, and suffered a fracture to his hand. The survivor was then returned to Mexico by the Customs and Border Protection officials. What's the craziest way you've heard of someone trying to cross the border? Let us know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Number 6. Sasquatch Squashed The Sasquatch prank is when someone camouflages themselves and jumps in front of people and tries to scare them. 
It's ridiculous, and so was the way this guy died. In 2012, 44-year-old Randy Lee Tenley tragically died while trying to do this very prank. According to the Montana Highway Patrol, Tenley was walking in the right-hand lane of US Highway 91 when he was hit by a car. Probably in shock by what just happened, he laid injured in the road. Then, bam, a second car hit him. The impact left Tenley dead at the scene. At the time of the incident, the police mentioned that Tentley was wearing a ghillie suit, a full-body camouflage military uniform. The suit is designed to make a person seamlessly blend into their surroundings, not exactly something you want to be wearing on a busy highway. That fateful day, Tenley woke up and chose to prank. He put on his suit and wanted to make people believe they were seeing Bigfoot. The police found out his motive after talking with his friends. Although Tenley's prank ended miserably, this wasn't the first time the Sasquatch bamboozle made the headlines. In 2008, a Georgian man thought he found Sasquatch remains, but it turns out that he found a rubber Sasquatch costume smeared with roadkill. Another sighting was reported in Manitoba Provincial Park, but the unknown hairy beast he thought he saw was actually just a teenager wearing a silly gorilla mask. Number 5. Self-Service Car Wash In April of 2022, a man in Southern California was killed in an apparent freak accident at a car wash when he got trapped between his vehicle and the machinery. 56-year-old René Tacté Jamey went to get his car cleaned at the Pearl Car Wash. Everything would have been fine if he followed the simple car wash rules. Do not exit your vehicle. But for some reason, Jamey decided the rules didn't apply to him. An alarm went off for about 30 minutes, but the victim was not discovered until another customer arrived and called 911. According to Lt. Scott Walters, officers found the car still in gear along with the evidence that Jamey was dragged by the vehicle, ouch, which rolled forward after he exited it. Jamey then became wedged between the left side of the vehicle and the left column of the car wash machinery. Police freed the man and administered CPR, but he was barely hanging on. He was taken to the hospital where he died a short time later. Investigators are looking through surveillance footage to determine exactly what happened at the self-service business, where people drive forward and stop when prompted by lights and signs. Pretty basic stuff. The incident was deemed a traffic collision, not an industrial accident, because the driver had total control of his car the entire time. Jamey literally drove into the car wash for an unknown reason and tried to exit his vehicle. Failure to follow these rules cost him his life. Number 4. Recycled When someone imagines a good place to take a nap, it's not usually inside of a recycling dumpster. But in April of 2022, just after 6 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, a man in British Columbia, Canada decided just that. According to the local Pendleton police, the 52-year-old man had been sleeping in an unlocked recycling dumpster when the truck came in to take out the trash. The recycling truck did what it's supposed to do. It scooped up the bin and then dumped the recycling directly into the truck's compactor. They didn't check to see if anyone was asleep inside of it because why would there be? The next following moments must have been truly terrifying for the man in the back. The driver of the recycling truck heard a scream from the back, but by then it was too late. The sleeping man had woken up in a smelly pit of doom and was literally crushed to death. The driver called 911 and stopped immediately, but there was nothing anyone could do to save the man. He simply chose the worst possible place to take a nap. Number 3. Hair Dye In 2011, 17-year-old Tabitha McCord died in one of the most shocking ways imaginable. She was at her friend's house, Heather Goodhall, for a girl's night. The besties were hanging out, munching on snacks, watching The X Factor, and dyeing their hair. Tabitha was a typical teenage girl, always trying to keep up with trends and appearances, and she often dyed her hair different colors to achieve new looks. The hair dye had only been on her head for about 20 minutes when Heather heard her friend making noises that sounded very uncomfortable. Tabitha got up and ran to the bathroom. A few minutes later, she came back into the room and started frantically pulling the foils from her hair. Heather said in an interview she started shouting, No, no, and my mom's boyfriend held her and tried to calm her down. It was really scary. Her eyes started going all funny, and then she started being sick. She just looked like a rag doll, limp, just lying there. Tabitha was taken to the hospital, but died shortly after. Police said the death was unexplained and an examination would be carried out. A chemical called P-phenylenediamine was reportedly suggested as a possible cause for the sudden reaction. Emma Meredith, head of scientific research at the Cosmetic Toiletry and Perfumery Association, explained it's used in a lot of dyes that darken hair color. Quote, to have such an immediate and violent reaction to this or any other cosmetic product is exceedingly rare. End quote. Number 2. Charging in Lightning In 2021, Raja Ferreira de Oliveira was charging her phone when the unthinkable happened. 
It was a stormy Sunday in Brazil, and Raja was at home, staying dry from all the rain. Her phone battery was dwindling as she scrolled through social media, so she plugged it into the wall and sat back to continue scrolling. What she hadn't anticipated was that a lightning bolt would shoot down from the cloudy sky and strike her house. Nobody ever really thinks that it's going to happen to them, but unfortunately for Raja, fate chose her that day. That lightning bolt traveled through the house, entered the electric socket, and went up the charging cord and straight into Raja's body. The intense electrical shock killed her on the spot. It was a total freak accident that nobody would ever imagine, and yet Raja was the third person in the Brazilian state of Para that got electrocuted during that same week. It appeared Mother Nature was targeting one location. A man named Semio Tavares was talking on his phone when he too got struck by lightning and died, with his phone acting as a lure for the electricity to come down and strike him. Number 1. Hiccups Hiccups are super annoying, and everyone knows it, but most of the time they're pretty harmless and they go away after a few minutes. It's not like they're deadly, right? Wrong. In 2019, an old man in Taiwan had hiccups for two whole weeks. Hiccups aren't necessarily a sign of an underlying condition, but hiccups could be a symptom of a serious health problem if it persists for an abnormally long period of time, like two weeks. The 77-year-old was admitted to Taipei Veterans General Hospital after he experienced hiccups that wouldn't stop, and he had no appetite to eat. He said before he died that any time he ate or drank that the hiccups would just get worse, and as a result of not getting enough nourishment, he got very weak. Dr. Gao Zhujin from the emergency department thought that the man was suffering from indigestion, but he later suspected that the patient could have been having some heart problems. The man was given an electrocardiograph test and then was diagnosed with an acute heart attack. He was immediately sent for surgery, but unfortunately died a week later. Number 10. The Perfect Disguise when breaking the law, it's best to wear a disguise so that law enforcement and other witnesses won't recognize you, and it's easier to get away with the crime. On July 31st, 2009 in South Carolina, that's exactly what 24-year-old Thomas James and 23-year-old Michael Gregory Thomas decided to do. Sheriff Leon Lott said the two suspects entered a Sprint PCS store armed with guns and demanded money from the employees. Holding the staff at gunpoint, the criminals stole wallets, purses, and credit cards before forcing the workers into a bathroom while they fled. The men had what they thought was a clever disguise by spray painting their faces gold in order to conceal their identities during the robbery. Investigators learned that after the robbery, James started having difficulty breathing and died shortly after. The coroner ran a toxicity test on James and discovered that he had inhaled a little too much of the gold spray paint fumes and consequently died because of it. Witnesses identified Michael Thomas as one of the robbers and he was arrested a few weeks after the crime. So in case you were wondering, spray painting your face doesn't really conceal your character and it just might kill you. Number 9. Getting Busy in September 2019, a couple decided to get busy on a third floor balcony at a graduation house party in Quito, Ecuador. And apparently they were too busy to realize just how high up they were. The naked couple tumbled over the edge while romping and plunging to their deaths. The bodies of the unnamed 28-year-old woman and her 35-year-old lover were discovered sprawled on the adjacent terrace by a neighbor who heard a crash and rushed outside to see what the unusual commotion was. A heartbroken relative of the unfortunate female victim that fell said she was the mother of an 8-year-old girl. Police District Operations Chief Christian Truillo said that the detectives are investigating how the accident happened, but reports from local media suggest that the passionate couple were simply unaware of the height of the balcony wall and its secureness and toppled over it while having sex. Number 8. Buried Alive In 2021, a pastor in Africa died after he, in an effort to prove he was truly a messenger from God, buried himself for three days while pledging he would rise again. 22-year-old James Sakara, a pastor from the Zion Church in Chadiza, Zambia, wanted to demonstrate to his congregation that he had been anointed by the Lord and could perform the miraculous. James insisted on being buried alive in an underground tomb for three days. Though his followers were skeptical, he managed to convince a couple members with his scheme. He had them bind his hands and bury him three feet or just about a meter under the dirt. Obvious to most, the pastor's theological knowledge was significantly lacking. Before he attempted his resurrection, he even quoted Jesus' instructions at the Last Supper, quote, Do this in remembrance of me, and insisted it referred to being buried and resurrected, not about taking communion. Three days later, congregation members dug him up and found a dead corpse. They attempted a series of rituals to, quote, complete the resurrection, but their results were in vain. 
Number 7. Titanic Pose In May 2022, a man tragically drowned as he was attempting to copy the iconic, quote, King of the World Titanic Pose with his girlfriend. Two 23-year-olds, Furkan Sifsi and Mini Dinar, tumbled over into the sea in Izmit, Turkey after trying to create the pose Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet did in the famous Titanic scene. You know the one, Winslet stands at the bow of the ship with her arms out like a bird and Leo comes in behind her and holds her at the waist. The couple, who had been drinking alcohol on a fishing trip, chose the edge of the pier for the perfect picture. Furkan and Minnie reportedly crossed a security chain to do the pose on the edge, but their imitation went horribly wrong when tragedy struck and both of them fell into the sea. Local fishermen witnessed their tumble and rushed to the couple's aid, with one of them able to rescue Minnie after she grabbed onto the end of a fishing rod. She was pulled to safety, but her boyfriend wasn't so lucky. He disappeared under the waves. Emergency services were called to the scene to search for the young man, and a diving team found his lifeless body two hours after the ordeal. Would you rather fall off a cruise ship into the ocean and be stranded for six hours, or spend the night stuck in a room with a vicious and rabid cat? Tell us which would be worse in the comments below and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Number 6. Methadone Underwear In August 2014, an inmate at a Kentucky jail died after eating methadone-soaked underwear that was smuggled into the prison by a cellmate. 55-year-old Michael Jones was let out on a release day from Jessamine County Jail to attend a funeral, but he had some friends inside and decided to bring the inmates a little treat. Allegedly, he brought back drug-laced underpants, which went undetected by prison guards as he was wearing them. Jones cut up the briefs and shared them with his cellmates, including 33-year-old Corey McQuarrie. McQuarrie started to feel sick and complained to the guards, but declined to tell them what he had eaten. The next morning, he was found lying unresponsive in his cell. He was taken to the hospital, but was pronounced dead later that day. During an investigation into his death, jail officials learned that he had consumed pieces of underwear that had been doused with liquid methadone. Police suspect he died of a drug overdose. Number 5. Shopping Cart Crash In 2008, a Florida teenager named Cameron Bieberly participated in something called a car surfing. Car surfing typically involves standing on the back of a moving vehicle or being pulled by a car. Cameron thought it would be a fun idea to take a joyride in a shopping cart that was attached to the back of his friend's car. The 18-year-old's fun was cut short, though, when the car hit a speed bump at 42 miles an hour or just about 68 kilometers an hour, hurling him 27 feet or just about 8 meters throughout the air. Cameron landed headfirst onto the concrete and died almost instantly. His friend who was driving the car, 26-year-old Adam Smith, was charged with vehicular homicide and received a four-year prison sentence. Cameron's entirely avoidable death left his family heartbroken. The teen's father said that the tragedy had destroyed their lives. The family blamed the popular show Jackass for inspiring his son to try the stunt. But many will argue that, at the end of the day, Cameron was an adult who knowingly made a dangerous decision. Number 4. Hurricane Party On August 17, 1969, Hurricane Camille roared towards the Mississippi coast with sustained winds of an incredible 190 miles per hour, or just over 300 kilometers per hour. It swept over Bay St. Louis, Mississippi as a Category 5 storm. Residents all along the coast fled the wrath of the mighty Hurricane Camille, but one group chose to ride the storm out rather than evacuate. 24 residents of the infamous Richelieu Manor Apartments in Past Christian chose not to flee and instead held a hurricane party. Common sense isn't that common. The apartment where the party was held was located in the direct path of the hurricane's eyewall. The storm completely destroyed the building, leaving nothing but a concrete slab. 23 of the 24 party attendees were killed. Camille is one of the strongest named hurricanes to ever hit the United States. More than 250 people died, and the cost of damages was over $1.4 billion. Number 3. Eating Slugs in November 2018 in Sydney, Australia, 19-year-old Sam Ballard was drinking with his friends when they dared him to eat a slug that was crawling across his patio. It was just a silly dare. What's the worst that can happen? Sam reached for the slimy creature and gulped it down. How would he know that the slug carried a potentially deadly worm? Well, it did, and it put him into a coma that lasted more than a year, paralyzing his body and ultimately taking his life. 
After downing the slug, Sam became weak and started to complain of severe pain in his legs. Katie Ballard, Sam's mother, told news outlets that at first they had worried he might have multiple sclerosis, which had afflicted her husband, but doctors said that wasn't the case. Sam then told his mother and medical professionals he had eaten a slug, and that's when doctors were able to confirm rat lungworm disease from the infected little invertebrate. Rat lungworm disease is caused by a parasitic worm, and as the name suggests, the parasite lodges in the lungs of rats and is later excreted in its feces. So the slug Sam swallowed had eaten rat dung or the parasite and became infected, which infected Sam. And instead of passing through his digestive tract, the worm crawled into his brain. This caused Sam to fall into a coma for 420 days. When he woke up, he was paralyzed and unable to move without intense effort or eat without a tube. It wasn't long after he woke up that he died. Number 2. Too Much Caffeine In January of 2022, Tom Mansfield from the UK made a grave mistake measuring his caffeine powder. He died of a caffeine overdose when he mixed himself a drink that accidentally contained the caffeine equivalent to hundreds of cups of coffee. The 29-year-old worked as a personal trainer, and one day he ordered himself a 100-gram bag of a new caffeine powder. Tom often used caffeine powder to supplement his drinks, but when he measured the powder on a scale, he didn't get his math right. The recommended dose was roughly 600 milligrams, but he accidentally used several grams instead. This resulted in him mixing a drink with the power of 200 cups of coffee jammed into one. Immediately after he drank his toxic coffee mix, he clutched his chest in pain and started foaming at the mouth. His wife was shocked and terrified, but managed to call an ambulance. Tom went immediately into cardiac arrest and died before doctors could do anything to save him. Reaching a conclusion of misadventure, the coroner said that the cause of death was caffeine toxicity. Number 1. Smith Machine In May 2022, a 23-year-old paramedic named Dolores Dolo Boshert was tragically killed when gym equipment fell on her as she was exercising at a club fitness 25 miles or just about 40 kilometers northwest of St. Louis. Police said the freak accident happened around 2.50 a.m. No one else was in the gym at the time. It wasn't until 20 minutes after the incident that another gym goer showed up and discovered Dolo dead underneath the equipment. They immediately attempted to render aid and called 911. Police said Dolo was squatting on a Smith machine when they believed she lost her balance and her legs suddenly gave out, and she was pinned under the heavy barbell. The Smith machine is a weight machine that consists of a barbell that is fixed within steel rails, allowing only vertical movement. It's most commonly used to perform squats. There were no signs of foul play, and investigators labeled it as, quote, an unfortunate accident. Number 10. Beach Umbrella Most people go to the beach to relax and get away from the stresses of life. While it's pretty common for swimmers and surfers to drown or be attacked by sea life, you'd think sticking to the shore in sand would be safe, right? Well, not exactly. There's dangers around every corner. In August 2022, 63-year-old Tammy Peralt was killed on a South Carolina beach. The incident happened while she was out enjoying the day with some friends and Mike, her husband. It didn't seem to be too windy, maybe a little breezy according to Mike, but somehow Tammy was struck by a runaway beach umbrella. It impaled her straight in the chest after a sudden gust of wind picked it up. Witnesses say she was sitting in the wrong place at the wrong time. The umbrella went directly through Tammy's arm and pierced her rib cage. She was taken to the emergency room right after the incident, but after just one hour, Tammy was gone. Mike and Tammy were married for over 27 years and had recently been enjoying their retirement. Her loved ones say that she was passionately in love even after all that time together. It's truly a sad situation. Number 9. Deadly Exchange In August 2022, a woman named Rachel Dollard was arrested not long after visiting her incarcerated romantic partner, Joshua Brown. He was being held in Tennessee's Turney Center Industrial Complex for 11 years over drug charges. Even though Joshua already had his time in court and received his sentence, it seems he didn't learn his lesson. During the lover's short visit, they shared a passionate kiss. At least, that's what it looked like to everyone else in the room. In reality, Rachel was transferring about half an ounce of meth inside her mouth. The kiss was just a ploy to pass it to Joshua. The drugs were contained inside a balloon pellet, and Josh swallowed the capsule in hopes of retrieving it later on from one end or the other. 
This masterful plan didn't exactly go how they hoped, though. Shortly after the exchange, Joshua was rushed to the hospital. While there, he passed away due to a drug overdose. Since she was the one who brought the meth into the correctional center and gave it to her partner, Rachel was charged with murder. So, not only did Joshua lose his life over this stupid plot, his lover's life was also ruined forever. Moral of the story is, don't do drugs, kids. And also, don't be stupid. Number 8. Sledding on a Mattress In 2008, 46-year-old David Monk and a few of his friends went to the Sal's Dual Resort in the Italian Alps to enjoy some time in the snow. They wanted to go sledding and picked out one of the biggest mountains. The 46-year-old British man thought it would be a good idea to use a foam crash barrier used as protection on a ski lift support as a makeshift sled. They basically used a mattress. The mattress quickly gained speed and the men weren't able to control it. Sadly, they plowed into a safety net on their ride. David hit his head on a corner post and suffered severe damage, killing him almost instantly. Two of his friends were critically injured. Police found David and his group while out on a motor ski patrol. Paramedics attempted to resuscitate David, but were unable to bring him back. They determined that the men had likely spent the previous night out drinking, which explains why they thought sledding down a mountain on a piece of foam was a good idea. David left behind his wife Anne as well as two teenage sons. In an interview, Anne spoke about her deceased partner saying, He was a loving husband and father. He was such a kind man who loved his family very much. It seems that David's friends will make a recovery, but it's unlikely the man's loved ones will ever get over this loss. What's the craziest thing you've done in the snow? Tell us in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 7. Timber Coconuts can be difficult to collect at times. They grow high up in trees and many people collect them by hand. Some even chop down the whole tree just to get the coveted fruit, which is exactly what happened on January 9, 2022. In the Shambor village in India, a 37-year-old man whose name has been listed as Yatiraj was cutting down trees at a coconut farm. He accepted a contract from a local farmer, but unfortunately for him, this job ended in tragedy. While chopping down the trees, Yatiraj was accidentally struck by a falling trunk. The accident caused severe injuries all over the man's body. As soon as someone noticed what had happened, he was rushed to the nearest government hospital. But by the time he reached the facility in Bantwal, he was already long gone. The accident came only four months after Yatiraj was married. We're not sure if we'll ever be able to look at a coconut the same way after this. Number 6. Leap of Faith in order to go bungee jumping, you have to be a pretty brave individual. The simple yet terrifying act of stepping off a ledge and plunging down who knows how far leaves many people sick to their stomachs. To bungee jump safely, there's a lot of work involved. Trained professionals have to make sure proper safety checks are met. Equipment, usually reinforced cords held up by a crane, is in good shape and that there's no obstacles in the jumping path. Unfortunately, in 1997, a 22-year-old man thought he could go bungee jumping all by himself with simple bungee cords. Eric A. Barsha, who made a living working in the fast food industry, tied a few of the stretchy cords together to make a fairly long rope of sorts. He then took one of the ends and wrapped it around his foot while leaving the other anchored at the top of his jump site, a railroad trestle at Lake Akatink Park. The drop below him was about 70 feet. As you've probably gathered since he's on this list, Eric wasn't all too bright. He didn't have the proper gear to attempt this massive leap of faith, but he leaped anyway. Seconds after the jump, he hit the pavement. His body was discovered at about 2 in the morning. Investigators determined that Eric's makeshift bungee rope was longer than the distance from the ground to the railroad trestle. Incredibly, the cords didn't come loose and were still intact by the time Eric was found. It's possible that he could have survived the leap if he had taken better measurements. He probably still would have gotten hurt, but he might have made it out alive at least. Eric's family was shocked after hearing what he tried to do. His mom claimed that the young man was smart, so it was very surprising that he'd try something so stupid. Number 5. Pig Dinner In March 2015, 46-year-old Alexandru Pope was killed by a group of pigs. The farmer had gone to take care of the animals. His nephew, Andre Alexandru, said that he was going to quickly feed them and come back. But two hours passed, and there was still no sign of Alexandru. This caused his family members to worry, so they went out to check on him. What they discovered left them horrified. 
The man had fallen into the pig pen, and the animals had started to eat him. His relatives found Alexander with a half-eaten face. They believed that he probably had a heart attack while getting the pig's food and accidentally fell into the enclosure. The man did have a history of heart problems. An autopsy did not support this claim, though. It said that Alexandru passed away thanks to severe hemorrhaging, so it's likely he just slipped and fell. After this gruesome incident, the victim's family, who are from Romania, decided that the pigs involved should all be put down. It wouldn't be right to sell them to somebody else after what happened. Their bodies were all burned and not used for consumption. Number 4. Man vs. Cobra Being afraid of snakes is reasonable. They're slippery, fast, and many of them carry lethal poison in their tiny fangs. Most people have enough common sense to stay away from the reptiles. But as you know, not everyone is gifted with intelligence on this planet. Sadly, 28-year-old Wayne Roth came face to face with a snake in 1998 and did not come out victorious. After ingesting drugs and consuming copious amounts of alcohol, the Pennsylvania man was hanging out at a friend's house. This friend, Crotu, happened to own a six-foot-long giant cobra. It's unclear why he had such a dangerous animal, but it seems that the snake was his pet. While under the influence of several vices, Wayne decided it'd be a good idea to try and pick up the cobra. This didn't end well. The snake quickly snapped back and bit him. The combination of the venom and drugs in Wayne's system proved deadly. Strangely enough, after the initial bite, Wayne told his friend that he was fine and didn't need help. Instead, he suggested they go to the bar and get another drink. A few hours later, the side effects of the bite were growing obvious, so Crow 2 tried taking Wayne to the hospital. On the way there, he passed away. Number 3. Caked in Dirt An Iranian man who has been referred to simply as Omu Haji, which means elderly person, passed away in October 2022 after washing himself. The 94-year-old had reportedly not taken a bath or used soap to clean himself in over 60 years. People who knew him from his village told news outlets that a traumatic experience while he was younger resulted in this strange aversion to cleanliness. For decades, Omu lived caked in dirt. He'd often smoke animal feces in a pipe and ate roadkill from the street. He truly believed that being clean would make him sick. Another man from India named Kailash Singh believed something similar. Instead of taking a shower like most people, Kailash would instead take what he referred to as a fire bath. This involved lighting a fire, smoking marijuana, and praying. He said that the smoke and fire killed all the germs and bacteria off his body. Omu may have been right considering his quick passing right after bathing again. It's incredible that he lived so long that way. Maybe he was onto something. What do you think? Number 2. Michael Warner in 2004, 58-year-old Michael Warner died after a sherry enema. Enemas typically involve a liquid or gas being inserted through the rectum and being absorbed into the body. Some people enjoy them, but it's not exactly everybody's cup of tea. Michael's wife, Tammy, was apparently the one who helped him do the enema. She claimed that her husband had a severe alcohol problem and would frequently do enemas with the substance. On the fatal night, Tammy helped Michael and gave him two large bottles of alcohol through the butt. The things we do for the people we love. Sadly, this much sherry raised Michael's blood alcohol level up to 0.47, which is about six times over the legal limit. This outrageous amount resulted in the man's passing. After her husband's death, Tammy was accused of negligent homicide. Apparently, one month before the incident, she burnt Michael's will. In court, she denied all accusations and said that she was just trying to help her partner. The charges were later dropped due to a lack of evidence. Number 1. Too Many Carrots There's a popular saying that too much of a good thing is bad. This applies to practically everything. Relationships, money, work, and you know, the classic carrots. Yup, we said carrots. As kids, people are told to eat the orange veggies to improve eye function and generally stay healthy. Carrots contain lots of good vitamins and nutrients, but when eaten in abundance, they can have negative consequences on your health. In 1974, a British scientist named Basil Brown learned this lesson the hard way. At just 48 years old, Basil prided himself on being a healthy food enthusiast. He was extremely conscious about what was put inside his body, but after his death, an autopsy revealed that he was anything but the picture of health. The man had severe liver cirrhosis, and his skin shined a bright yellow color. 
If you're unfamiliar, cirrhosis of the liver is caused by many things. Some of the most common include cystic fibrosis and alcoholism. But in unique cases, it can be a result of too much vitamin A. And guess what contains a large amount of vitamin A? That's right, carrots. Medical professionals believe that Basil's strange complexion was likely due to eating too much beta-carotene. This condition is called keratinemia. It's pretty incredible when you think about just how many carrots Basil had to have been eating each day in order to develop such a severe reaction. You shouldn't be afraid of eating these veggies yourself just because of what happened to him. But be sure not to overindulge. Thanks for watching. Did any of these deaths shock you? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. We'll see you next time on Bad Badger.